So what's the easiest way to cut vinyl plank flooring around an L-shaped wall and what tools are you going to need to get it done? In this video, I'm going to break it down for you. You already know this is Carpet Mike from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com bringing you all the tips, tricks, and strategies to make you a mega success in this tiny little niche business. But check this out here. We got our vinyl plank that needs to get cut. We have it sitting perfectly on top of the existing plank that's already been installed. And if we were to slide it forward, it would fit into place minus the section we got to cut out. So we are lining our next plank up with the existing wall. And we're going to go ahead and trace that out from corner and then all the way to the end. So first things first, I'm doing my length part of the plank because it's only about two inches thick. So I like to get that part out of the way first just to avoid from making it snap or anything like that. Really focus in on it. Get your blade to cut it well. And when you're cutting it, take your time. Don't let the blade bend. Don't rush it because you might slip and lob your hand off and then you turn into a hospital trip, which should have been just a fun DIY project. And once you've scored that a few times, life is good. We're going to go ahead and move on to the smaller cut. Once again, nice steady hand, nothing crazy. So got that scored. Everything's looking good. All right, let's get the small section done now. We're going to go ahead and just trace this little bit right here. Give it about three good swipes. That's usually enough to have it bite into the plank, but this plank is pretty meaty here, so I may throw in a couple more for good measure. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure it bites right into that. Once we know we scored it well and we could snap it off, it is time for business. So check this out. Now we got to go ahead and take that plank off of there. We're going to get that out of the way. Make sure I can get you a decent angle of what I'm about to do. I always start with working with the small piece first because if you do the other one and it snaps all the way off that little small skinny piece will snap right off with it and then you're miserable and you got to start over again so let's go ahead and tackle that little two inch lengthwise piece first we got that all nice and loosey-goosey life is good and then kapow we could just snap the other one off wait for it bam see now if you started there and went the other way it would snap that little two inch piece right along with it we don't want that so we like to get that all cut off first and then ready to rock next it is time to install this so we're going to go ahead and line it right up with everything we're going to shim it under this plank here once that's lined up and we're actually doing this in reversal just the way the pattern ended up when we got into this room had to do it in reverse usually it's way easier on you but hey if we're going to do a video let's show the difficult way so we got it locked into the side there everything's good now we got to line it up get it tucked into the length okay cool cool now we got to tap this thing together make sure it's good and secured and interlocked and everything you need to win so we're going to take a hammer we're going to need a pry bar and a dummy block so we're going to go ahead and lock that dummy block into place we're going to go ahead and tap that in until it locks in onto the length get you a better angle here tap that in boom that locked right in we're going to tap that seam together tap 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 everything's good there all right, then we're going to take our pry bar on the little skinny section there, and we're just going to put it in between the plank and the wall. First, I got to go find the pry bar. Go take me a little walk, let off some steam. You know, that was so stressful right there. All right, we're going back to the situation. Take our pry bar. We're going to get it right up against the wall there. And just pull those two together, and it'll pop right into place. Bam. That's all there is to this. So this is a very DIY-friendly product. Don't shy away from taking on your next project, and I'll see you on the next.